into a year-long investigation into women's soccer out today, claiming top executives for the Portland Thorns and Timbers knew about the sexual abuse committed by former Thorns head coach Paul Riley. And this eye-opening report also claims a cover-up. Our Jenny Young joins us live now after speaking with the head of U.S. women's soccer about these allegations. There's a lot to go through with this, Jenny. There is. We're outside Providence Park right now. Probably, we told you at 5 o'clock that there was going to be protest. It's probably about a dozen people here. Look at these signs. The one that stuck out to me is this purple one. Protect, protects abusers. Look, and it's got a picture of Merritt Paulson's face on it. Of course, Merritt Paulson, the owner of the Thorns and Timbers. This sign right here, Merritt Paulson protects abusers. Sell the teams, Merritt people angry about this. Dan Liz, uh, former U.S. Attorney Sally Yates was part of the firm that conducted this investigation and we're told they interviewed well over 200 people, reviewed uh, about 89,000 documents. And get this, they said that the Thorns tried to interfere with access to witnesses and tried impeding the use of documents. Several pages of the investigation into the U.S. Soccer Federation focusing on former Thorns head coach Paul Riley and the sexual harassment claims against him. To me, the most concerning thing since this happened to me is who's next. Findings of the more than 300 page report say Thorns HR completed a sexual harassment investigation just seven days after the initial complaint and that the investigation omitted key information. It didn't use the words sexual or harassment, despite Mana Shim's explicit use of those terms in her complaint. Instead, it describes the allegations generally as Mana Shim accused Paul Riley of inappropriate behavior. The investigation also says that when Riley was being hired by a New York team in 2016, Thorne's president, Gavin Wilkinson, said that Riley didn't mesh well with all the personalities in the locker room but then reportedly went on to say he would hire Riley again in a heartbeat if they could. The report claims that after Riley was hired in New York, Thorne's owner, Merritt Paulson, congratulated the team, even emailing their president, writing, quote, best of luck this season and congrats on the Riley hire. I have a lot of affection for him. During a press conference today with Cindy Parlo Cohn, president of the U.S. Soccer Federation, I asked if she felt this report reads in essence that the Thorns organization engaged in a cover-up. I don't think it's for me to interpret everything in that report right now. It's a very large report, um, over 350 pages. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I it, this is very emotional for me and Honestly, I'm having trouble absorbing everything in the report. Um, I think it will take some time to really read through it and think about the actions um, and inactions uh, of certain people. Merritt Paulson protects abusers. That is the chant we just heard from these protesters. This group expected to grow. Uh, they'll be out here until 8, I'm told. We've reached out to the Thorns a couple of times today. They've responded saying that they're going through this extensive report, digesting it. Um, they said they'll get some kind of a statement out today, but we still don't have one. We'll let you know as soon as we do. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.